Hello everybody, this is Rick. I am in Texas now. I was in Washington this morning and yesterday for the video, my staple stuff, but uh, today I wanted to share a video of cleaning a clean, wet cleaning and pressing a modern comic book. Um, and this book just had a, you know, a little tick on the cover, some black schmutz on it. There's some kind of booger wipe across the colored area, not colored. So, uh, you know, it's what you can normally expect. I don't, I didn't get it a hundred percent clean again. Probably could have had it worked on it for a long time didn't feel like it so get what we get with the amount of effort we put in um <clears throat> what did i use people have been asking me like to like specifically state what i used to do this book so use the following used uh, uh craft silicone impregnated thicker craft paper uh one of my chamfered pressing boards i used a tick attack board and a tacking iron that I don't sell um let's see what else did i use i used um a macu clean with uh, wipes and q-tips used an eraser it's a regular gum eraser i sell on my dry cleaning kit used a uh, tussie heat lemonade heat press with two eighty thousandths inch pressing boards i used um i think that's it i think that's all oh no a cold press a thick premium ultra cold press board uh and some water Right, that's all I used, and uh, so that's it. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, take care, bye bye, see ya. So, here's a modern book that has a stain here, some stains down there that we're gonna try to get rid of, and we're just gonna start with the easy stuff first, right? We're gonna get crazy, <clears throat> and you're gonna. Look at it here, I better get my glasses on. You can see, and this is just an eraser, so I'm gonna take <coughs> the paper and move the eraser off the clean spot here. There's also a spine tick or a wrinkle there. This spot here bothers me a little. I'm gonna get that off there. It's not coming up. There's like some kind of a schmutz on it. Well, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna <clears throat> take a little bit of a Mackie Clean on a tip here. Same old story. I'm gonna push this down. A little bit. Roll this into there. And then let it sit for a moment. Kind of give this a light movement here. Let's see how this works. Not really coming up a little, but not much. I don't want to rub it. Oh, that's a little better. Let's try this over here too, just to, there's a little bit of splits all down the spine here. So let's see what we got here. We got this book is, um, you know, I see the part that's on this dinosaur's nose came clean with the Mackie Clean. This came a little cleaner, but not significantly cleaner. This looks better, but not perfect. The page curled up a little bit because I got it wet right here. So it's got some tension. Um, that'll come out or we'll, if it doesn't, I'll show you how to get rid of it. So what we're gonna do next is we are gonna get this tick out of here. So um, I am going to take this staple tool, this tick tool here. The staple is not really showing up on the top of this book. It's right about here. So what we're going to do now is get a piece of parchment paper. And uh, let me find one here. 
And this, we're going to aim to get that tick out right there. So we're going to put this on here. This is on the low temperature setting, actually. Let's see here. I'm going to turn my hand a little bit. We're going to make figure eights here. Get that spine tick out. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Figure eights, folks. Figure eights. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So since this is a modern book, we are going to do it at, we're going to press it now and we will press it at 130 degrees for 1800 seconds. So I'm going to put my chamfered board here. I put a silicone sheet under there. I can do chamfered boards on both sides but I'm not really worried about the back in this case in this book, so I'm gonna, and since my pressure is already set for just one board, oh, there's a spot up here that will probably come out. Since I'm already set my pressure for just one chamfer board, so I've got this at, this one's gonna be at 55 pounds, and I will put a sheet on the top of it here. I made my little sandwich. Now, I've preheated my bottom board, it's 130 degrees, and so I have a, there should be a board under here. Where is it? Um, let me see what I got here. This board here, I'm going to put a piece of that and clean paper on here. I don't really have to do that. I just do it for just extra protection to keep a nice sandwich going here. The shiny part of the silicone down. And then I'm going to put another board on top of it. This just keeps any imperfections from the aluminum boards from transferring through the, sh the sheet onto this. So here's the aluminum board, the top board. This is an 80,000 thick 6061 aluminum. There we go. And then I'm going to this and uh, it's a little tighter. There we go. And I'm going to set this for, I'm going to, once this gets up, it's going to drop here in a moment. The temperature is going to go down because the top plate is heating. The bottom one was preheated. And once it's up the temperature, so I'm going to set a timer on my watch. My, my counter doesn't go up to 1800. So uh, I'm just going to do 1800 seconds on my tell Siri, I tell uh, you know who on my watch to uh, do that and then it will uh, it'll be done and then I'll cold press it for, I usually do 12 hours, a lot of people do 24, 24 is probably better because uh, it keeps the wrinkles from coming back but uh, that'll be that for this book. So a little lower temperature, a little longer time because it's a modern book. Okay, so once I, I turned it off at 1800 seconds and then let it come to ambient which took about another 17 minutes and here's the book now. We will remove it. Looks pretty good, actually. And it's curving up these pages. We'll do a cold press for, I like to say 10, you know, between 12, I usually 10 to 12, but if it needs more, I'll go to uh, 24 hours. So I'm going to put a cold press board on it. Just let it sit. And if those keep curling up again in the corner, I'll show you what to do. But otherwise, uh, time is our friend. I just let it, it does not need a lot of weight. Just, you know, uh, a little bit. Uh, just to keep it flat. Uh, more pressure is not better because you're not really training it. Uh, you need a little bit. Uh, high pressure is for the little tiny micro and meso uh, defects, but the big wavies it's just need a little bit of weight. Um, and they'll, they'll come out and then we'll see what things look like. All right, let's see what we got here. This is 12 hours later and this is coming up a little bit. See how this, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but this corner here is coming up a little, so we'll fix that. Um, this looks a lot cleaner. There's a little spot here on this white area that needs additional attention. That that has been cleaned up nicely. Where that spine tick was, that is completely gone now. So what we're going to do is we are going to get that to set down. And here's how we do it. We are going to take a uh, cotton pad here, and I'm going to squirt some water on it. This is just distilled 
or sorry, deionized water. And I'm going to take this Q-tip and get a little bit wet. And right at the fulcrum of this area, I'm going to rub this with some water on the back of it. Just a little bit, does not take much. And then it's going to, we're going to, well, let's see here. It may take more than I'd hoped for. We're just going to rub this on the back here. And then you'll see that this thing is going to sort of relax a little bit it here. So I rub some water on here and then in a minute or so you're going to see it. There it goes. It's going to curl back down. You see it? There it goes. See how it's going back down? That surface tension will balance itself out. I'll put a little more water on here. This is just for dramatic effect. I wouldn't usually put this much, but I'm going to put more in here on the back of this page, and you'll see that it'll sort it'll kind of curl up at first, but once the water sort of absorbs into it, there it goes. See it curling up? Now watch this. It is going to go back down. See that? So given it a little time, this, this is going to relax that tension that's in that corner. So I'll come back here and we'll, we'll watch it in a minute here. Here, I guess I was a little dramatic about it. I put too much water and see how it's curling the other way now? See that? It's curling the other direction. So, uh, cause remember it was lifted up, now it's going the other way. So uh, I overdid it a little, little bit. I should have just put a tiny bit and just waited longer. So that's the trick. It's gonna, um, it's it's balancing that out. That's that that gets that page to sit down. So we're gonna just I'm just gonna press it again. We'll see what happens. So here we go. This book has. If you want to look down here, you can see the. Uh, this is my cold pressing board, and it's been pressing now for I guess a total of about 20 hours. And so it's. We'll see if it has lost its need to rise up in that corner yet. Uh, no, nope, not quite. It could probably stand a little more, but I don't really care about it that much. So uh, this book looks better. We got all of that stain off of this area, most of it off of this. We could we could get that out if we really wanted to, I guess. And maybe we'll just do that. Um, but otherwise it looks pretty good. We got that spine tick out here. It looks much better. In fact, and I will bag it up and show you what it looks like. That's, it. That's the book now, and I will probably take that stain out later, but it looks better. I think. Not bad for a modern book. It's okay. Not great. I'm starting to see little things I don't like about it, but although overall, it's a pretty good book. Well, folks, that's it. To uh, summarize modern book, I just showed you how to use ImmaculClean, clean the cover, use eraser to get things that, you know, pre clean stuff off. Uh, use a tick attack board to get out a spine tick. Um, how to press it, which is I use 130 degrees for 1800 seconds. I cold press for 12 hours. I check if it needs more cold pressing, give it 12 more hours. If the corners have lifted, put some water on the back of the pages, do it again. Uh, you know, that's it. That is really the, the standard, like my standard modern comic book cleaning technique. Using the chamfer boards, you know, makes it so you don't have to worry about those the pages fusing together or the um, or the uh, those little coupon things pressing through, you know. So, and I, and I press these around 45 pounds, so uh, pressure. So that's basically how I do it. Uh, there, are, there might, there are probably better, well, I should say probably, there, there may possibly be better ways to do any of this stuff. I don't know. Uh, this is just my way. It works out for me. Um, I might be the, the worst in the world at this, might be the best, but it's very likely I'm somewhere in the middle. Uh, well, if I'm honest, somewhere more to the top end and the bottom, you know what I'm saying. But uh, <laughs> anyway, oh man, I'm I'm tired. I'm not making any sense. But uh, I guess you guys uh, will uh, enjoy the video or you won't. And either way, I wish you the best and uh, take care. Bye-bye. See ya.